Hello everyone, my name is Gray and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get the social distancing calling card extremely easily, but make sure you guys watch the entire video so you don't miss any information, that way you can go ahead and perform it properly, but at the end of the video if you guys have any questions, unlike other YouTubers, I will actually reply to your comments helping you out, that way you can go ahead and perform this glitch. Starting off, you guys want to go into Firebase Z and you are going to need a teammate. So if you guys don't have a friend online, my Discord is linked in the description. You guys can go ahead and join the Discord and then you can find someone in there to help you with the glitch. What you guys want to do on Firebase Z is just go through the first few rounds and just get some points to open up doors. Now, it's very, very, very important that you guys do not take damage at all. So don't take damage like you cannot get hit by anything. You can't take fall damage or anything like that. Otherwise, the social distancing isn't going to work. Really quickly, guys, make sure you do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video and also check if you are subscribed to the channel because 86% of you guys are not subscribed. So please do me a huge favor, hit that sub button and turn the bell notification on so you guys don't miss a future upload. Once you guys have saved up enough points, what you guys want to do is just go over to the door, open it up, and then make your way over to the teleporter. And you're just going to keep opening up all the doors that I take you to. So the next one is right next to the barracks. Go ahead and open that. And then go over to this reactor. You guys have to turn on this reactor first. And I recommend you guys do it on early rounds. That way it's just easier for you to not get hit. Because you do have to do this one before you start the glitch. So go ahead and turn on this Aether reactor. And you just need to make sure you go ahead and kill all the zombies filling up the charge. But do not get damaged at all. Do not take fall damage. Do not get hit by a zombie. You have to make sure you don't take damage. Otherwise it's not going to work. And you're not going to get the social distancing calling card. Once this reactor is done, you guys want to go over to this rail, hop on it, and then you're going to stand in the spot that I do. Make sure you do not go too far as I do right here, because if you do, you're going to fall and take five damage, and then you're not going to get the social distancing. So make sure you guys do not fall off. I already have it, so it doesn't matter, but I'm showing you guys how to do the glitch. So make sure you line up your crosshairs exactly with where mine are, so that way you can stand in this spot and not fall. Once you guys are in this spot, nothing is going to target you, and now everything's going to go for your teammate. So your teammate can now stand in front of you if they wanted to and go ahead and kill the zombies, and that way you can help them kill the zombies as well because you can just shoot them as well. But also, they can stand on the rail, as you guys see here. Their, your friend can just be on the rail, and the zombies will go for them that way. Or they can really just go anywhere else on the map and the zombies aren't going to go for you. They're going to go chase them. So my friend is going to do the other power right now and just turn it on. That way they can go and get Pack-A-Punch and perks. Another thing that can help you guys is make sure you turn your left stick minimum input threshold all the way up. That way if you do have any stick drift when you're staying in this spot, you won't move around if your controller is just a little, you know, stick drifty. But... With that said, as you guys can see, all of the zombies, when they spawn in, they go for your teammate. They do not go for you, so you guys just need to stay here the entire game, and your friend is going to get all the way to round 21, and then you guys will get the social distancing calling card. So make sure they go ahead and play normally. They can pack a bunch, get perks, do whatever they want. They are also going to have to do the defenses on whichever one it chooses, so they have to do that by themselves and basically just carry you through the game as you stay in this spot and the zombies will not target you. So your friend has to go ahead and do everything on the map up until round 21. Now I already have the social distancing, so this is what it looks like when you unlock it, and this is how you're gonna know that you got it. On round 20, it pops up saying you got the social distancing. Make sure you guys die on round 21, and then you can go ahead and go out of the game. It's going to be in your challenges, as you guys can see right here. I now have the Dark Ops challenge, which is the social distancing. So make sure you guys go ahead and do not get hit at all on round one to round 20. Once that challenge pops up, then you can go ahead and get hit and you need to die on round 21. So the game says that you survived 20 rounds. It's very important that you do that last step. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you do me a huge favor and leave a like. Subscribe for more glitches and guides just like this one. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you guys out. And check out the videos you see on your screen right now for more insane glitches. I'll see you guys later. Peace.